All right, quick video just showing that I wired the uh, power LED to the front of this old school entertainment box and works perfectly visible from the front. And then this is just the intro I have set up for my RetroPie. Fun stuff. All right, so this is the uh, case I recently found on Amazon that I'm starting to use for my uh, Raspberry Pi. Uh, essentially, it is a you know plastic injected bullet case, but really well done. A lot better than a lot of the 3D printed ones I've seen out there. Um, it's a great fit. Uh, tightens up nice and nice and snug. Uh, doesn't wiggle around. Uh, the only gripe I have is that it doesn't have, it has a hole for the LED power indicator, but by the power buttons in the front, they're, they're fake power buttons, they don't really work, but there's no actual LED. So, that's why I made this little video on how to mod that, so you can kind of get the authentic uh, LED on the front of the device. So here's a picture of uh, everything installed um, next to my 8-bit dough wireless controllers. As you can see, there's this little hole right at the front. Uh, next to the fake power buttons, but again, no LED indicators. So, I mean, the case looks great, but I had to add this LED. It's just, it had to happen. So, let's get into how that, how that uh, works. So, on the Raspberry Pi 3, um, this is the pin layout. And so, this is how we're going to pro provide power to the uh, indicator LED. And so, what I chose to utilize over here on the uh, right-hand row, um, pins 4 and 6. So, I have a 5-volt power in my ground. And those are the ones I, I chose to utilize for the specific LEDs I had. Um, now the LEDs I'm using, it's a red LED. Um, input voltage is between like 1.5 to 2 volts. So we're going to have to step down the voltage a little bit. But I'll show you how to do that here using resistors. So the first thing um, we did here is I actually hooked up one of my Raspberry Pis to a bread bo uh, breadboard to kind of test out just to make sure that, you know, I had the right resistor and whatnot. And uh, to get the brightness level that I, I wanted, I ended up going with a 100 ohm resistor. Um, and that seemed to give like the perfect amount of brightness uh, for this power indicator. So here we can see the, uh, you know, after soldering this uh, resistor in line with the LED. Um, and again, the idea is, you know, once the, once the Pi powers on, uh, it's gonna then light up this LED so uh, this is the resistor I chose to use. You can use a higher one, like a 470 ohm, if you choose, if you don't want it so bright. But again, I used 100 ohms because I think the brightness was perfect for, for this uh, project. All right, and here's just a close-up of, uh, again, the uh, pin alignment that I'm utilizing. Um, there are pins 4 and 6 there. Uh, pin 4 is the 5-volt out, and then pin 6 is the ground. And so those, this jumper basically goes underneath the board uh, to the LED. And here we have a picture of how I secured the LED to the case. Basically, I just kind of used some uh, heat shrink tubing to give it that nice little elbow, and then just used a hot glue gun to secure it down uh, with the front of the LED kind of touched up to that opening uh, in the front of the case. And it, it's, it sticks in there really good, and um, yeah, it worked out pretty well. And so after that was done, I uh, put the top of the case back on, screwed everything back in, and yeah, just like I showed in the video, basically you press the, uh, I, you know, toggle the power for the Pi, and this nice LED in the front pops up, just like the original NES system. Uh, same color red, so very pleased with that little mod. And hope you guys enjoyed kind of this uh, how-to video on how to add your own LED indicator to this great little Raspberry Pi case. Thanks for watching.